Hi, my name is Lucas, and today on Omni Tech News, we're going to be talking about Paint.net. Okay, so this is Paint.net, and basically what it is is it's an alternative to Photoshop. Um, it's free, so um, obviously it's. It's not up to standard with Photoshop, it doesn't have all the, um, it's not as powerful as Photoshop, basically, but it is great, it's a cool little free application. So you've got a toolbox over here, you've got your square select tool, um, move selected pixels tool, uh, move selection tool, lasso tool, uh, sel ellipse select tool, uh, you've got a zoom tool, uh, pan tool, magic wand tool, background paint bucket tool, um, gradient tool, uh, eraser tool, paint tool, pencil, uh, eyedropper, color picker, color replacer, clone stamp tool, uh, text, lines, and um, uh, shape creator tools down here. You've got square, kind of a rounded edge square, and then you've got um, ellipse and polygon creator. So then down here you have um, your color box, you have um, your two primary and secondary colors, you can uh, switch them, set them back to default. You've got a big color wheel, you've got a color palette down here, you've got your RGB values, your HSV values, and your transparency values here. And then you can input a custom color code um, to select custom colors that are relatively hard to find on the color wheel. Um, so then you've got that, you've got a nice layer window over here. You can add layers, you can delete layers, you can duplicate layers, you can merge layers, move them up and down, and you've got a properties window. You can name the layers, uh, make them visible or non-visible. You can uh, set the blending mode and opacity. Uh, and then you can uncheck layers, make them not show. Up here you have your history, so you can uh, undo certain things you've done. So if I were to just draw something here in black, not white, I could hit the undo tool and that would go away just kind of an alternative to hitting control Z. Up here you've got some selections as far as painting and lines go. You've got uh, brush width, you've got uh, tool selection if you don't want to use the tool box down here. Uh, you can set your line style, um, how you want it to be filled, and your uh, anti-alias settings, and your uh, overwrite mode. So uh, up here you've got your basic file and image functions and stuff. You can um, resize an image, set canvas size, flip, rotate, then you can do all that for an individual layer. You also have adjustments so you can auto level black and white, brightness and contrast, curves, hue and saturation, invert the colors, uh, levelize, or level your, not levelize, uh, level your colors and uh, blacks and whites and stuff. Uh, post rise and sepia, and then you've got a ton of filters like artistic filters, blur filters, distort filters, noise filters, photo filters, render filters, and stylized filters. You can also choose which windows you'd like to appear. So overall, Paint.net is a really cool utility. Um, you can download it at Paint.net. They also have a big forum full of a uh, full of um, plugins and tutorials and stuff. If I just go here. Paint.net. You're guided to this page. You click on Paint.net, and then they share kind of this little landing page with another company. So you've got this. You can download the latest version, which is version 3.36. And then you go to the forum. They have a nice big forum. You've got um, people can post their uh, completed images. People post tutorials. People post plugins which are really cool. They're just DLL files. And you can paste them into the program folder. You just go into computer, your C drive, your program files, paint.net, and then effects. And then you just paste your plugin DLLs here. And then you can also paste DLLs in file types if you want to have file type plugins, like I have this icocur.dll here. And basically what this is, is it's, it's uh, allowing, it's a plugin that I downloaded that's allowing me to save files as icon files and cursor files. So it's really cool how customizable it is. Um, it's really customizable. You can even customize your own color palettes and stuff. It's really cool. And as I said, you've got this big forum full of people that'll help you if you have any issues with it. There's a lot of um, troubleshooting and bug reports and stuff. So it's, it's really cool. You can download it right now at paint.net.